Hi, my name is Megan Gallagher. And I'm Kate Bach. Welcome to our wellness series. Each Sunday, we'll be bringing you an episode with tips to live your healthiest and happiest life to start off each week right. Tune in every Sunday this September for a new episode of Self Care Sunday with Megan and Kate. Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to Self Care Sunday. Today we are back with episode three and it's all about stretching, our favorite routines, how we check in with our bodies and follow along as we go. Yeah, so I am a big fan of stretching. I really find that sometimes I'm stressed or I'm overtired and I and I'm kind of in a bad mood and I don't want to move. You kind of like have the instinct to curl up into a ball. But if I force myself to get out and stretch, it can really, really help a lot. It helps you feel in touch with your body, just like feel good, realize that you're really like personally when I'm stressed, I hold a lot of tension in my hips. So it just helps kind of release stress. And if you breathe into it and you use some of our breathing exercises from last week, that might even help enhance your stretches a little bit. Yeah. So we just wanted to show you some of our favorite stretches and encourage you to stretch. And again, share with us if you guys have some that we missed because we'd love to learn from you also. Woo! Okay, so I will show you guys mine first. So first, I love to just kind of stretch out my legs, just, you know, both. Um, and growing up, I was a dancer, like, my whole life, like, ballet and everything. So to me, this, it just feels, like, good for some reason. So I love to make sure I'm just sitting. And so first, I like to bring my arms all the way up. Um and really, you know, just feeling into kind of like imagining my spine lengthening like a rope and it's just straight up. And then I like to go over to one side. And I feel like this is such a good, yes, it's such a good oblique stretch and really just getting in that side. And then I like to go over and then to the other side. And it just, to me, it feels so good. Cause I feel like I hold my stress and pressure like in my torso and chest and anxiety and everything. And then after that, I'm gonna turn to side angle, but I love to put my feet like together straight and then just going straight up, arms over, and then just kind of touching my toes. I feel like I do a lot of sitting throughout the day, you know, typing and writing emails and working on my books and everything. So I feel like it's really helpful for me to stretch out the hamstrings. And to me, this does that in your lower back, it relieves that tension and pressure. Sure. And then the next one that I love to do is just simply kind of like the butterfly, just sitting and kind of making sure that my legs are pushed open and just grabbing my feet. And really just, yeah, that always just feels really good to me. <laughs> no, it does. And this is a great thing to do. I know so many of us are now at home. So maybe you have like five minute quick breaks that you can take. And yeah. just a few stretches. Like if you've been sitting all day, if you've been at a desk, if you're just like kind of feeling drained, this can actually give you energy. Just stretching and sort of like letting the blood flow in your body in a new way rather than being construct like constricted in your chair. Exactly. Really give you energy and make you feel better. Exactly. It's so true. Um, so Kate, show me yours. I want to see what yours looks like. Okay. So I'm all about my hips always. They're just where I hold my tension and stress and exhaustion. Yeah. So one of my favorites is putting your legs kind of in a windmill sort of position maybe. Yeah. Um, and then twisting towards my back leg and that really stretches my hips here. Ooh, I can feel, yeah, I can feel that. Oh, that's like, feels so good to me and you can end up twisting more and more. It just feels so good in there. Yeah. And then switch our legs the other way. And, and I feel like, like at right angles. This is a cool position too, because it's not, you know, like we don't normally as humans sit this way. So I feel like it's good to mix it up and to like move our body differently. Totally. Uh. Okay, and then my favorite pose in every yoga class is pigeon. And I like to start from downward dog, lift your leg up, and then bring it forward. 
and uh, I can never get tired of this one. It just always feels so good. And depending on what stage you're at, you can stay on your hands, you can go down to your elbows, you can go down all the way to the ground. And I love to hold it as long as possible. Mine like really pinches my hips, so it feels so good when I'm done. Yes. And always make sure to do both legs and stay even for sure. Yeah, this is so nice. Okay, we'll go back up into downward dog. And then lift our left leg. Bring that forward. I really find I get like a rush of energy after stretching. Like it does give me like an invigorating feeling. It really helps. Yes. Oh, I want to like, I'm so interested, Kate. Like, did you, like when you first got into modeling, like, did you kind of create, like, I know you grew, you grew up in a household where it was healthy and organic food, but like when you got into modeling and it's, you know, traveling and foreign countries and different time zones and like, did you have to kind of create like your own self-care routine? I think I figured it out over the years. So sorry, we'll do cross leg kind of get your, your feet uh, parallel to your legs and then just lean forward as gently or as far as you can. Mine is not very far, but very tight, but it feels great. Um, yeah, I think just throughout the years learning different things, like when you're really jet lagged, this helps so much. And when I sometimes get this piercing headache when I'm really jet lagged and stretching can alleviate it totally, like without a painkiller. I think it's just like from flying or just being stressed or being thrown into different time zones, I get a little bit like pent up in my shoulders and chest and that gives me a headache. So just moving my body, stretching five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, like whatever you have, go to the hotel gym, do it in your hotel room, do it in your bedroom. It just really helps get blood flow and like refresh your, your body. Like it really feels so good. So I think I've had routines I've picked up along the way. I travel with now like my own teas for when I'm on flight or snacks or, you know, different face masks or different things that I feel like I can do that just help me feel like I've done something good for myself in a day because that really helps me kind of perform better in life when I just know that I started my day by doing something good for myself. Yeah, that I love that. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I think that's a common trend of like, if you start your day with a healthy meal then, and, and you work out or you move, then you're more kind of like on track to continue in the same direction. But if you start by eating something unhealthy or like yeah. over or feeling bad or, you know, whatever, not feeling good, then you're kind of more on track to like, well, whatever, today's an off day, I'll just kind of continue down this negative road. So I just, whatever you can do to kind of stay positive or put yourself on the positive road, I think it really helps your day, which turns into your week, which turns into your month, and then you're suddenly feeling like a better person inside. It's so true. Yeah, it all adds up. And I think every choice we make, it all, you know, it, it, it doesn't just go nowhere. Like it all comes into play in our life. For sure. Okay. So good. Now, ah, take it all in. <laughs> Something as small and as quick as those like six moves can really make a difference in your day. So we just want to encourage you to get stretching. Yes. Thank you everyone for tuning in and remember share, repost, tag us. We want to see all of your pictures, videos, tutorials, how you guys stretch and feel good. And remember to use hashtag self care Sunday series, and we will see you next week. Thanks guys. See you next week.